to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. Pune, the cultural capital of Maharashtra, was often referred to as the Oxford of the East due to its rich legacy in education. And one of the major contributors to this legacy is the Deccan College. Housed in a striking Gothic building, the 200-year-old Deccan College is one of the oldest educational institutions in India. And it boasts of alumni such as freedom fighter Bal Gangadhar Tilak and anthropologist Iravati Karve. Today known for its Department of Archaeology, which is one of the finest in the country, it has a long and eventful history. The Deccan College started its journey as the Pune Sanskrit College established in 1821 by the then Governor of Bombay, Mount Stuart Elphinstone. The funds for the college came from donations given by the Peshwas called the Dakshina Fund for Brahmins. With only a few number of students, it was housed in the palace of the Peshwas in Vishrambagh. But as the institute's popularity grew, it was shifted to a new campus covering an area of 125 acres in the Yerwada neighborhood and renamed as a Deccan College in the 1860s. With the sponsorship of 1 lakh rupees by merchant and philanthropist Jamshedchi Jijipoy, the foundation stone of the present building was laid in 1864. The magnificent neo-Gothic building with its ornamental arches and spires was designed by General Henry St. Clair Wilkins, who also designed the synagogue and Sassoon Hospital in the city of Pune. Since the 1860s, the college has produced many students who played important roles in the making of modern India, such as social reformer R.G. Bhandarkar, freedom fighter Bal Gangadhar Tilak, philosopher R.D. Ranade, historian V.K. Rajwari, anthropologist Iravati Karve, and physician Dwarkarnath Kotnis. And you might not know this, but amongst its illustrious faculty, the college had William Wordsworth, who shared his name with his English poet grandfather William Wordsworth, and E. A. Wodehouse, the brother of P. G. Wodehouse. Both of them were principals of the college. Unfortunately, in 1934, Deccan College was shut down due to a paucity of funds, but the college's old students came to its rescue. The Past Students Association took to legal measures and the Bombay High Court decreed that it was incumbent on the government to run this college. Deccan College opened five years later in 1939, but in a new form. It was decided that instead of a degree college, it would be an institute of higher learning and research. From that day until today, it is one of the country's leading institutes in the fields of archaeology, history, linguistics and Sanskrit. On the premises of the Deccan College are two museums. One is the Maratha History Museum come archives. Another is the Archaeological Museum started by renowned archaeologist H.T. Sankalya. He had joined the Deccan College in 1939 as a lecturer of Proto and Ancient Indian History. Under him, the Institute started carrying out explorations and excavations in all parts of the country. The artifacts discovered in the course of the fieldwork are displayed at the Archaeological Museum. Pune's Deccan College has made an immense contribution to the intellectual life of India. A walk through its campus is like walking down history.